This step-by-step -step video we will review and explain the workflow with MicronMapper EVO. To start, connect the Navident MT4 camera and open the MicronMapper application. This application can be opened either from the Navident application or directly from the desktop. After opening the application, it will ask for the activation key. Enter the activation key provided with your order and click on Activate. A pop-up window will come up stating the activation status. Click OK. The system will then again throw another pop-up window as a reminder to verify the camera's calibration. Click OK. On the screen you see no scan bodies registered. To register your scan bodies, you need to insert the USB device which came along with the scan bodies and click on Register New Scan Bodies. A pop-up will come up stating that the scan bodies are successfully registered. Click OK. Moving on to the scan bodies, there are a total of 10 scan bodies in the package. A stone model, the screws for the scan bodies, and the screwdriver tool to affix the scan bodies to the stone model. Grab six scan bodies and affix them to the MUA analogs in the stone model with the help of the screwdriver. The scan bodies should be facing forward. Keep them in the point of view of the camera and the scan body names should appear on the screen. You can validate it by seeing the number on the scan bodies. It should match. To start with the accuracy check, you need to connect to the internet. Under patient name, insert the so-called patient name which is mentioned on the stone model. It should be a five digit number and the jaw should be automatically selected for this. Keep the scan bodies in the view of the camera and observe that the process has started. To complete this process, move the stone model right, left, up or down. Notice that the circle line is loading for a particular scan body and there are sounds which indicate the calibration is in process. Once all the scan bodies circle turn green, a message appears on the screen stating the result of the calibration. Make sure you're getting a passed result. Congratulations, if you're at this step, it means your accuracy test was successful and you have already got some practical experience working with the camera and the scan bodies. The next step is taking the actual patient's photogrammetry scan demonstrated here on a model. Enter the patient's name and select the jaw. You may enter the implant's locations and make notes if desired. Position the MT4 camera in the right distance from the patient's mouth and make sure there is a clear line of view between the camera and the scan bodies. In a real patient, a good lip retraction should facilitate the scanning process. Click on Restart Mapping. The scanning process is the same as during the accuracy test. If you are not sure of the result of the scan, you can click again on Restart Mapping and the process will start from the beginning. If you want to conclude the scanning before the target number of scan bodies is collected, you can click on the Done button and the process will stop. To see the results of the calibration and mapping, click on the Open Output folder. You can see all the results of the tests done. The name of the file consists of the patient name, jaw type selected, implant if mentioned, notes if mentioned, and the date and time. You can change the output folder where the results are saved by clicking on Change Output Folder button. Select the folder you want to save the results to and click on Select Folder. Changing the scan body's shape. To change the shape of the scan bodies in the 3D view, you can either select it from the Output Shape drop-down menu, which are the saved shapes or select some other STLs by clicking on other button. Change shape button can be used to modify the shape of the previously scanned jaw or after the application is closed. Simply select the shape from the drop down list, click on the change shape to select the CSV file you want to resave it with. And now that you are familiar with the basic Micron Mapper Evo workflow, there are some additional features for you to learn. If any of the scan bodies are changed in between the process of calibration, scanning will be restarted. In case 
where there are two scan bodies or abutments too close to each other and it is not possible to mount them together or if it is not possible to have them scan together because one is hiding the other, the scan needs to be done in multiple steps. First, enter the patient's name and jaw type. Enter the implant's location. Let's say we put one, two, three, four, five, and in this case, four and five are too close to each other. Scan the scan bodies until the sampling circles turn green, other than the number five as it is hidden. Don't click on done, so the process will still continue. Now put the camera aside and remove the scan body in location 4. So now the scan body in location 5 becomes visible to the camera. Complete the scanning. Click on the output folder to check the result. You can see that the results are merged and they contain 5 scanned bodies as planned. If the video of the camera is not starting or if the video is distorted, consider the following steps. Unplug the camera USB from the system and re-plug it again. Restart the application after 10 seconds. If the video quality is still not fixed, select Control key and click on Restart Mapping. This will reset the camera hardware. If the scan bodies are not detected by the camera, clean the scan bodies so that the opticode is visible to the camera or try to clean the camera lens. If the accuracy check failed, follow these steps. Double check the number of the stone model entered. Make sure it is the same one as on the model. Verify that the scan body's IDs displayed on the screen are matching the physical scan body's IDs. Tighten all the scan bodies again. If any of the scan bodies is loose and is moving while moving for calibration, it will fail the test. Our fine run is recommended if the accuracy test results are not sufficient. If you need additional explanation about Micron Mapper Evo functionality, the instruction for use is attached to the software. Now you're an expert in the Micron Mapper Evo. We wish you the best results and perfect accuracy during your procedures.